Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get new fonts into LumaFusion. And if you're saying, wait a second, she already made this video, you'd be 100% correct. However, it seems like with the new iOS 13, that video is obsolete. So let me go ahead and show you how I'm doing that now. And the first thing that we want to do is go font shopping. So let's get on the internet. And we are going to go to a website called defont.com. Now, all of these fonts are completely free as long as you're not using them for paid commercial use. The home page, you're going to be greeted with all of the newest fonts that they've added to their lineup. You can also choose all of the different categories above on the top of the screen. So let's go ahead and pick Curly. You can browse through the pages until you find something that catches your fancy like this one. This looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and on the right hand side of the screen you're going to see download. So I'm just going to hit download. Now normally a page would pop up that says download into LumaFusion. It would be that simple. However, now we have to just hit download in blue. If you want to get more than one font, go ahead and download all of the fonts that you want to get. So now we're going to actually go and get those fonts and put them into LumaFusion. So what we need to do from here is go to our file manager. I'm always in and out of my file manager, so it's always going to be on my lower taskbar. However, if you don't use yours a lot, you might have to browse through your different pages until you find it. And it's this little blue file folder right here, little blue file folder icon. Icon. So now we want to go to our downloads and my downloads are going to be organized by date so that means that everything that I've newly downloaded is going to be at the very top and here it is this is the font Spinkin Top Spinning Cop or whatever it's called is the font so all I want to do is tap this once and that is going to unzip that file and now this is going to have a little blue file folder of its own we're going to tap that again and you're going to be greeted with uh, a little sample of what that font looks like an agreement and licensing for that font and right in the middle the blank page that's dog-eared that's actually going to be the page that we're going to hit in order to get that into LumaFusion. And boom, it just happened to pop up and open right into LumaFusion. However, I do wanna let you know that may not always happen. You might have to take one additional step. So let me go back to the file manager and pick another font. This way I can show you what's going on. It just seems like every time I go to do it now, it's just immediately opening up into LumaFusion and that's not really what I want to show you. I want to show you the way that it might happen on your iPad. So I am just going to press and hold it down. Now, normally when you get to that page and you're doing it for the first time, when you hit that page, you're going to come up to a secondary page that's going to have a share button at the right hand side of the screen. So what you need to do is hit that share button so I'm going to hit it down here this is basically going to be the same steps but I'm just hitting it in a different place and now what you want to do is scroll through here until you see open in LumaFusion so all you have to do is hit open in LumaFusion and now that font is going to be added to your font package within LumaFusion and that is how you're getting the new fonts into LumaFusion now with iOS 13 well I thank you so much for joining me and until next time Wear your sunblock.